That's a lot of clocks. Well, what constitutes a lot is really a matter of personal taste. For me, it's a perfect amount of clocks. Oh, sorry, there's a deranged cuckoo in there. Your ratchet wheel's shot and the click spring's not far behind. Hello, you're Lewis, I presume. How was your trip? This old hag is my next door neighbor, Mrs. Florence Zimmerman. I'm relieved to see you didn't inherit your uncle's freakishly oversized head. Huh, says the woman who literally looks like a Q-tip. Oh, look, the giant head is angry. My God, did that withered purple skeleton just speak? She thinks she's smarter than me because she's got more college degrees. No, I think I'm smarter than you because I'm smarter than you. Jack-o'-lantern. They scare away evil, and iron does too. Well, it repels evil, like bug spray. And that is why we have iron horseshoes, and that's why cemetery gates are made of iron. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And how does one become a full-fledged warlock? You have to defeat an evil spirit by using your own magic. That is absolutely right. What smells of rancid sulfur? Bad kitty! Oh, hello. You look like the sort of smart mind that could help me solve a riddle. Now the answer is something that you can find in this room. You ready? It has many hearts, but no brain, and eight kings and queens that reign. What is it? I understand that. So should we just sit around nope. and try to figure out the heck we, we don't have to Guys! Oh my giddy aunt. Don't worry, their teeth are made of pumpkin. They can't really hurt us. <sighs> <sighs> Okay, I made that up. Don't I have to have dinner before I'm allowed to have cookies? Well, why not just eat cookies for dinner? They're far more delicious. I know, it's just, we have these house rules. Well, not in this house. There's no bedtime, bath time, or meal time. You can eat cookies till you throw up for all I care. You'll see. Things are quite different here. Do you like riddles? Me too. Now, I've got a really good one for you. Let's see if you can find the answer in this room behind me before time runs out. I have two hands, but cannot clap. A face, but never smile. What am I? of old, turn this dross lead into gold. Wow. That was really, really terrible. I mean, just awful. Hey. You're reading it like it's a Buick manual. It's not what you say, Lewis. It's how you say it. You're the only you in the whole universe. That makes your style of magic just crazy unique. One in a hundred million kajillion. So I can give you the right books, teach you the right spells, but that last one percent, that's up to you. So, how do I find my magic style or whatever it is? It's in there somewhere. You just have to quiet down and listen. Now it looks like you're pooping. Today on National Book Day, I challenge you I challenge you to pick up that book that you've been putting off. And discover some new magical powers of your own. A bump in the night. Lewis slid out of bed as slowly and carefully as he could. He tiptoed to the door. He opened it just as slowly and carefully. He looked out. The hall was dark, except for a faint pale circle of a flashlight beam moving over the wallpaper. Now the figure with the flashlight brought his fist down on the wall, hard. Lewis heard little clots of plaster falling down into the space between the walls. The figure pounded again 
and again and again. You want to see some real magic? I'll show you. Last stop, Lewis. I'm your uncle Jonathan. Are you wearing a robe? It's a kimono. Here we are. Home sweet home. You're Lewis, I presume. How was your trip? This old hag is my neighbor. I'm relieved to see you didn't inherit your uncle's freakishly oversized head. My god, did that withered purple skeleton just speak? You'll see, it's quite different here. Have a look around. You're perfectly safe. That's safe? As long as it's fed. Do you know what a warlock is, Lewis? A boy witch. I think they're a little more than boy witches. Are you saying that you're a warlock? Please teach me, please, please. Okay, have it your way. I can give you the right books, teach you the right spells, but that last 1%, that's up to you. I don't want the creepy little runt. Think I want him? Lucky shot. You've told Lewis everything? Well, not everything. This house used to be owned by another warlock. He's very wicked. Very powerful. He left a hidden clock in the walls. We don't know what it does except something horrible. Three gongs. Last time it was four. What happens when it gets down to one? Nothing good, that's for certain. We have to destroy the clock. So creepy. You can't do this alone. I can help you. You want to see some real magic? I'll show you. Shall we? God, I hate pumpkins. <laughs> Did you see that? Hello. You're Lewis, I presume. You'll see. Things are quite different here. There's a clock in the walls. Do you hear the ticking? 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 We don't know what it does, except something horrible. So, you've told Lewis everything? Well, not everything. Look around. You're perfectly safe. That's safe? As long as it's fed. 